I'm Katherine Chloe Cahoon and this is the Science of Beauty. So today we're going to chat about what different foods do for your looks and your health and how anyone on any budget can have a balanced diet. This is my friend Annie Trumbull. Thanks for having me Katherine. I'm very passionate about nutritious eating. She is in college and I think of her kind of like the superwoman of grocery stores because last school year, she was able to have a balanced diet on only $35 a week. So we're gonna show you how, but first, Annie, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, I'm a fourth year pre-med student. I work in obesity research lab, and I'm studying global public health. And she's a genius. So we went grocery shopping, and over here is Healthy Land. We got this all for under $40. It's a balanced diet for one person for one week. The same price is Food Health, which this contains 2,880 grams of sugar. What does that look like? That's the equivalent of 12 and a half cups of sugar. At most, an adult should only be consuming nine and a half teaspoons of sugar per day. Now we're gonna talk about fruits and veggies. We went to a local farmer's market and got these for $17.95. The key to produce is the further it travels and the longer it takes to get to your food stand, the more nutritional value it loses. And these food groups are a great source of vitamin C, which helps produce collagen. I have been hearing that term so much in the women's magazines these days. Can you break it down for us? Firm skin without wrinkles is from collagen. You like that? Women like that. Oh, definitely. I think of collagen like a harmless Botox with no side effects. What's also wonderful about these foods is that they prevent heart disease, obesity. Can you think of anything else? Strong hair and great nails comes from little things like eating darker lettuce like spinach or kale versus an iceberg lettuce with no nutritional value. And I know this is a side note, but when we were at the farmer's market, we couldn't help not get the flowers. I mean, they were only $5. And I realize that we're talking about food, not dating, but guys, if you're going on a date and you bring these flowers to a girl, don't you think Annie she'll love you forever? Five dollars to make our day, but don't tell us they were only five. Dollars. Yeah, no, that's a secret. Moving on, amino acids are the building blocks of protein. I know it sounds like we've entered a biology course, but hang in there, okay Annie? Proteins are essential for every single part of your body. The only thing you need to know nutritionally is that there are complete proteins and incomplete proteins. Let's give you some examples. Greek yogurt is a protein that is also cost effective. Refried beans. Aren't beans incomplete proteins? It know? is an incomplete protein, but if you combine it with something like rice, you have a complete protein. Oh, great. Eggs, and of course, meat. And when you're building strong muscles and healthy hair, protein is imperative. When you see those commercials with the women and they have the voluminous, shiny locks, they have a high protein diet. Well, they might also have hair extensions, but let's just go with the high protein diet. One great way I learned to get protein every day was my freshman year when I would take small peanut butters on campus with me. I would eat them with apples, celery, or whatever I had. It kept me full longer, and I was able to get my protein in my snack or my lunch. And one of these cups has nine grams of protein. Now let's touch upon dairy. Dairy is simple. It's rich in calcium to give you strong bones, and it's also great for your digestive system. If you're allergic to dairy, there are non-dairy cheeses and yogurts. They are still rich in active cultures to help with your digestive system. And ice cream is also dairy, but she wouldn't let me put it in the cart. It's high in sugar and fat. Sorry, Catherine. Grains are the best place to save money in your budget. A box of whole wheat pasta, a loaf of bread, or some rice doesn't have to cost you very much. And Annie introduced me to Boil and Back. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I had that box for two months. And it only costs $2.79. We're spending big here, Annie. And the bread, $1.79, breaking the bank. Lastly, we have snack foods. Like this natural popcorn, it has no butter. So we all know that snack foods soothe the soul, but what do they do for the body? Provides nutrition for your body between meals when you're starting to feel fatigue or lack of energy. Left to my own devices, you can see what I'd be snacking on. But thankfully, Annie came to my rescue. 
Well, thanks for having me, Catherine. Yeah, thank you. And thank you everyone for watching.